Now at 11, air raid sirens sounding across Israel tonight. Iran launching a direct military attack against Israel, sending hundreds of drones and missiles. It reportedly came in retaliation for the deadly bombing of its consulate in Syria earlier this month. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is the escalating violence in the Middle East. This is the first time Iran has ever launched a direct military assault on Israel. According to Israeli Defense Forces, more than 200 drones and missiles have been launched at Israel so far. This video in the sky above Jordan showing American drones downing some of those drones flying toward Israel. Iran vowed to take revenge for the airstrike in Syria that killed two of its generals. Josh Eininger has more from Israel. Walter, dawn is about to break here after a sleepless night in Israel. The IDF has now informed people in certain areas in the north that they can step away from their safe rooms. And Iran itself has told the UN the attack is over. And so now Israel must ponder its next step. In the middle of the night, drones streaked across the sky over the Holy Land. Israel's military defense is in overdrive to respond to an unprecedented attack by Iran, which the IDF says launched more than 200 drones from inside Iran, as well as from proxies in Iraq, Syria, and southern Lebanon. A U.S. official tells ABC News the targets were military bases, including one that housed F-35 fighter jets. ABC's Britt Klenet described what she saw. About an hour ago, we were seeing trails of orange, these orange flashes in the sky, and then the thud of Israel's air defense in action. It, it almost sounded like thunder. Uh, there was at least a dozen projectiles in all directions behind me. After the drones launched, Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei said the evil regime will be punished. President Biden cut short his weekend trip to Delaware, returning to the White House Saturday afternoon to huddle with his national security team. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the country's vaunted Iron Dome missile defense system was ready for the onslaught. We are prepared for any scenario, he added, both in defense and attack. Whoever hurts us, he vowed, we hurt him. According to a U.S. official, American forces shot down some of the Iranian drones headed toward Israel. The U.S. military was already increasing its presence in the Middle East, adding troops, ships, and aircraft to protect assets already in the region. At the United Nations, Iran said the U.S. must stay away, claiming its attack on Israel was conducted as a legitimate defense in response to Israel's attack on the Iranian embassy in Syria earlier this month. When those drones crossed over the old city and we heard the sirens here, we retreated to the basement of our hotel. And when we returned after the all clear, we heard more explosions and turned around to see fireworks rising from the vicinity of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, an apparent celebration by sympathizers of Iran after that country's unprecedented attack tonight. In Jerusalem, Josh Einiger, Channel 6 Action News. You can download the free 6ABC app to stay up to date with the latest breaking news on the Iranian attacks against Israel. All right, turning now to the AccuWeather forecast. It's going